Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Happy Friday. Happy June 20th. I'm hoping that you can see me. I have missed you. I have missed praying with you, but you were in good hands. Good morning. June 20th. An opportunity for us to pray. To seek the Lord. Good morning, good morning. I'm giving a few of you time to get on this morning. I want to thank uh, Pastor Cindy, my sister, who led on Tuesday morning. And then uh, her and Pastor Todd are the senior pastors of Celebration of Life. We founded the church in early 2001. And so I want to thank my sister, who's nobody, nobody like her on the planet. And then I want to thank Pastor Karen, our ladies, women's pastor at Celebration of Life, for praying on Wednesday morning. Thank you so much, Pastor Karen. Y'all did, you and Pastor Cindy did fabulous and felt the Holy Spirit. And then I want to thank Pastor Chris, who's our executive pastor at Celebration of Life, uh, for what, how she prayed yesterday. It was so amazing. I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit, and you were in good hands. I had planned on praying at the camp house with my kids, but I got there and realized pretty quickly that even though they had internet, it was not, it was real spotty and very, very, very hard. I couldn't talk on the phone, had trouble holding a FaceTime, so I didn't want that for y'all. So I called on the Holy Ghost Army uh, to help me, and they did a fabulous job. So thank you so much, sisters. Uh, for helping and then thank y'all for praying and being faithful. I was praying where I was at. God is so good and we love him so much. I woke up this morning and I heard three words. Pursue, overtake, and recover all. Pursue, overtake, and recover all. And um, if you know where that scripture is, that is uh, David uh, in Samuel, I think it's 1 Samuel 30, and he, his men, and he and his men had gone out to, um, to war, to fight battles, and they had left their family at Ziglag. They had left everything they had owned at Ziglag. And when they came back, the enemy had taken everything. So we're going we're gonna to pray that. We're going to talk about that. But we're also going to talk about the word of the Lord today is to pursue, overtake, and recover all. And I want you to write in your journal today, I will recover all. God will recover all for me through my obedience. I will recover all. We're in a season, no matter how bad or how grave it looks, that God is going to help us recover all. All, all the enemy has stolen from us. God is going to help us recover. So get your emblems ready. Get your communion ready today. We're going to start with that. I've got, I've got a, a, a surprise for you next week. I got some friends coming in from the Northwest that'll be praying with me next week. So we're excited about that. God is just doing so many amazing things, and your testimonies and your breakthrough is encouraging me so, so much. So keep doing what you're doing, ladies. God is moving in our midst, and he is growing us, and he's helping, he's teaching us how to fight right. He's teaching us how to fight right. Get your um, communion ready. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to take communion. I thank you for 200 and 86 fires, Holy Ghost fires, prayer altars burning across America. I thank you for 288 prayer altars burning across America. We give you the praise and glory. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to take communion today. We thank you for the opportunity to remember what you have done for us on Calvary, to remember the price you paid, to remember that you... You laid down everything, everything so that we could pick up everything, so that we could be redeemed back to you, so that we could be redeemed back to our purpose and our place and the authority that you gave us in the garden. And God, you laid down everything so that I could pick up everything. And I just thank you for it. And we take this cracker in remembrance 
of your body. We take it in remembrance of your body. We thank you, Lord, that you're healing the heart and soul of America. The stripes that you took on your body, on your back, were for our healing. And I thank you, Lord, that you're not only healing us physically and healing us emotionally, but you're also healing us spiritually in Jesus' name. I thank you for your blood. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that flowed down Calvary's hill and is still flowing today. We plead the blood over our lives, over our families, over our churches, over our, our nation, over our government, over our president, over every leader across this country. We thank you, Lord, for revival and restoration in Jesus' name. Pursue, overtake, and recover all. Listen, there are going to be times in your life where you're going to feel like you want to give up. There will be. And if you haven't already experienced it, you will. There will be times where you're, you don't have any strength to go one more step. And that's when we throw ourselves to the Lord, throw ourselves on the rock, throw ourselves right before the Lord. And that's why it's so important to stay in His presence because He gives us strength when no one else can give us strength. When no one else can speak life into our dead body, into our lifeless dreams, into uh, the things that have been dashed by the enemy. When nobody else can comfort us, we can go to the Lord and He will comfort us. Lord, I just thank You that today... You are giving us um, new faith. You're giving us, infu you're infusing our bodies with your faith. Faith to know that no matter what the enemy has stolen, that as we pursue you in prayer and we pursue restoration in prayer, God, that you will overtake the enemy and you will recover all for us and we can walk in a place of continual victory, knowing that you are the one that we count on. We don't, we don't count on our own strength. All we have to do is cooperate with you, Lord. And I just thank you that you're giving us the spirit of cooperation, the spirit of obedience, the spirit of trust, that you're increasing our faith. I want to read this chapter, and then I want to pray this over your family. I want to pray this over your businesses. I want to pray this over your children. I want to pray this over your churches. I want to pray this over America. I want to pray this over all the so seven social mountains. Uh, we want to, we, we, we will recover. I don't care what the devil says. I don't care what the devil's done. He, he, he's no match for our God. He's no match. He can't, he, he's no match. Now, yes, he, he, he can win some fights, but he never wins the war. And when we call on the Lord, the Lord always will rescue us. He will go before us and make the crooked places straight. So let's read this. Uh, 1 Samuel 30. And we're going to start with verse 1. Now it happened when David and his men came to Ziglag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded south, the south and Ziglag attacked Ziglag and, and they attacked Ziglag and burned it with fire and had taken captive the women and those that were from great from small to great they did not kill anyone but carried them away and went their way so basically the enemy came in and took everything that was important to them their wives their children their spoil but the, the thing that was most important was their loved ones. So David and his men came to the city, and there it was, burned with fire. Everything burned to the ground. And their wives, their sons, and their daughters had been captive, had been taken captive. What has the enemy burned with fire and taken captive in your life? What has he told you? It will never be the same. You'll never recover. Just look at the city, Callie. Just look. Everything you love. 
Everything that's important to you is gone. Has the devil ever told you that? Have you ever lived through something like that? Sure you have. So David and his men came into the city, and it was burned with fire, and their wives, their sons, and their daughters had been taken captive. Then David and the people who were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power to weep. They were so... Now, these are warrior men. These aren't um, uh, metrosexuals. You know, these aren't, uh, these aren't powder puff men. These aren't men that are set behind a desk and have perfectly trimmed nails. These are men that are made for war. They're made for war. They're big, tough, burly, warrior men. And they're crying like babies because everything has been taken from them. And David's two wives, Anna Noam from the, from the uh, Jezreelites, and Abigail, the widow of Nabal, the Carmelite, Carmelite had been taken captive. So b both his wives were gone. Now David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him. His own brothers, his own warriors said, I want to stone you. We've lost everything. Because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. But David strengthened himself in his God. I want to say that there are times that nobody's going to be around to pick you up. Nobody's going to be around. In fact, everybody's going to want to stone you. And we have to know how to strengthen ourselves in our God. We have to know that's where our strength comes from is the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, for 354 prayer altars this morning. Then David said to Abathar, the priest, Please bring the ephod here to me. And Abathar brought the ephod to, to David. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he, and he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail, recover all. So David went, he and his 600 men who were with him, came to the brook Bezer, where those stayed who were left behind. Then David pursued he and 400 men, for 200 stayed behind who were so weary they could not cross the brook. Then they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David, and they gave him bread, and he ate, and, he let them, and, he, and they let him drink water. And they gave him a piece of the cake of figs and two clusters of raisins. So when he had eaten, his strength came back to him, for he had eaten no bread or drank water for three days and three nights. Then David said to him, To whom do you belong, and where are you from? And he said, I am a young man from Egypt, servant of an Amalekite. And my master left me here behind because three days ago I fell sick. We made an invasion of the southern area of the Cher Cherubites in the territory which belongs to Judah and of the southern area of Caleb. And we burned Ziglag, Ziglag with fire. And David said unto him, Can you take me down to the troop? So he said, Swear to me by God that you will neither kill me or deliver me into the hands of my master, and I will take you to the troop. And when they had brought him down, there they were, spread out all over the land, eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil which they had taken from the land of the Philistines and from the land of Judah. And David attacked them from the twilight until the evening of the next day, not a, not a man of them escaped except 400 young men who rode on camels and fled. So David recovered all that the Amalekites had to carry away, and David rescued his two wives. And nothing of theirs was lacking, either small nor great, sons of the daughters, spoil, anything which they had taken from them, David recovered all. The Lord said, pursue, overtake, and recover all. The word of the Lord and the prayer that we are to pray today is God, we believe that you are gonna help us pray until all is recovered.
till all is recovered. And till we see America recovered, till we see our homes recovered, till we see our families recovered, our churches, uh, the fivefold ministry recovered, the Church of the Living God across America and across the world recovered, we are going to see all recovered and operating the way God's intention is for it to operate. Pursue, overtake, and recover all. Lord, I thank you that you are giving us such a determination to pray, to keep praying, to keep seeking your face, to pursue you, Lord, to pursue the things that you have called us to pursue, to pursue victory, to pursue revival, to, res to pursue repentance, to pursue the, the uh, holy things of God, to pursue righteousness and holiness and, and righteous judgment, God. We pursue you, Lord. We know that when we stand in the gap and we pursue your presence, that you give us the wisdom and the anointing to not only pursue, to continue to pursue, but to recover all, to overtake and recover all. And I pray, God, for every, every part of our economy, every part of our a culture, every part of the American people as a whole. I thank you, Lord, from the president down to from the, from the White House down to my house, to every house in America. God, that you would give us wisdom how to pray, to pursue your heart in everything, God, to pursue your will, your purpose, and your plan. And God, that, that we would have the power to overtake the enemy, God, that through prayer we would see the enemy a obliterated. We would see the enemy wiped out. We would have eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart to obey. That no weapon formed against us. You said pursue, overtake, and recover all. And ladies, I admonish you, what has the enemy stolen from you? Pursue, pursue in prayer, overtake by the power of the Holy Ghost, recover all, recover your children, Lord, we pray for our children. We plead the blood of Jesus over my five children. We plead the blood of Jesus over my spiritual children. We plead the blood of Jesus over our children that are represented on this broadcast in the next 24 hours. We plead the blood of Jesus. We ask you, God, that you would pursue them. God, that you would overtake anything in their life that is wreaking havoc in their lives. God, that you would overtake anything any assignment of the enemy, that you would obliterate any assignment of the enemy, and God, that you would recover all, all, recover all that the enemy has stolen from our children, recover all that the enemy has stolen from us in regards to our children walking out their destiny. We ask you to recover all in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you are pursuing, you are overtaking the enemy, and you are causing our children to recover all that they are literally uh, lining up with the original intent that you have for their life, God. They are lining up with the original intent. We ask you for supernatural blessings over them. Blessings, God, in their, in their businesses. Blessings, God, in their careers. Blessings, God, in their marriage and in their children and relationships. Blessings, God, in their physical bodies. Blessings, God, in every area. But most of all, blessings, Lord, Lord, in their spiritual walk, that they would have eyes to see and ears to hear your spirit. God, speak to them loudly. Speak to them loudly. Convict them. Draw them nigh to you, Lord. Let them hear your, your voice. Let them draw nigh. Let them have tender hearts before you, Lord. We pray. We bring our children, God, that you would pursue them, that you would overtake any enemy or any side, anything that's been designed to sidetrack them or delay them, and God, that all would be recovered in their lives. We pray, God, for our government. We, God, God that you would pursue any enemy or strategy of the enemy that has actually happened or that is planned, God, that you would pursue the enemy, that we would pray and God, angels would be dis dispatched 
to dismantle any plan or any strategy of the enemy to keep our spoil. God, that we would overtake, that you would give us the anointing to overtake. I declare that we are blessed, that our children are blessed, that our government is blessed, God, that our families are blessed, that we would overtake in prayer, we would overtake in fasting, God, and that you would recover all in our government, recover all in our families, God, recover all in our children, recover all God in our cities and in our homes Lord we thank you Lord that we walk in great victory and recovery God that we have everything the enemy has stolen has been returned to us all the spoil has been returned to us our family members have been returned to us we pray God for the seven social mountains in this country and across the world God that you would pursue the enemy that you would overtake the enemy and that all would be recovered to its original intent we pray, God, for our government. We pray for our president. We pray, God, for, the, for all levels of government in our cities, in our states, in our counties, in our nation, the Senate, God, the Congress, our president, his cabinet. We plead the blood of Jesus. We ask you, God, to pursue the enemy. We ask you, God, to overtake the enemy. We ask you, Lord, to recover all, that we would walk in great recovery, recovering all that the enemy has stolen from us. God, we ask you to pursue the enemies of our marriages and of our families and of our relationships. Pursue them, overtake them, and recover all. We will live in victory because you have declared that over us. We will see what you see. God, give us your eyes. We will hear what you hear. God, give us your ears. We will say what you say. God, give us your mouth. Let us be a mouthpiece of righteousness. Let us be a mouthpiece of reconciliation and holiness. Let the oracles of God come out of our mouth. God, forgive me. Forgive us, Lord, when we've spoken any Anything that is not pure or anything that is not lining up with your purpose and your plan and your righteousness, set a watch over our mouth, set a watch over our mind, set a watch over our spirit. We declare the blessing of the Lord. The word of the Lord is pursue, overtake, and recover all. How do we pursue? We pursue in prayer. We push. We pray until something happens. We pray until Christ is formed. We pray until the battle is won. We pray until the stronghold is dismantled. We pray until we have eyes to see. We pray till we hear the plan and the voice of the Lord. We pray until our children children are alive with purpose and destiny and vision. God, we break any stronghold of addiction over our children in the name of Jesus. We break any stronghold of addiction over our children in the name of Jesus. They have eyes to see and ears to hear. They're not bound by any kind of vice. They're not bound by any kind of pornography. They're not bound by, by uh, self-doubt. They're not bound by any lie of the enemy. They're not proud. They're not haughty. They are tender before you, God. They are, they are, they are, uh, they are totally submitted to your spirit. They hear your voice. They see your way. They obey you, God, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Andrea, hi, e sondria, bo cororomo, sondria, see. Pursue, overtake, and recover all. Get on your knees, pursue in prayer. God is going to give you strategies to pray that will overtake the enemy, and you will see recovery of all. This is the word of the Lord to you. Pursue in prayer. Fight these things on your knees. God goes before you, and he makes the crooked places straight. Then God will send out his angel armies, and he will overtake and dismantle the enemy. He will wipe them out, and you will recover all. All that was stolen 
stolen from you will be returned back. And I even declare sevenfold on top of it. God is in the restoration and in the multiplication business. In the name of Jesus, what has the enemy stolen from you? I hear the Lord say, pursue in prayer. He will help you overtake and you will recover all. Write it down, make it plain for the Lord is doing a quick work in your families, in your life, in your plan. There are plans that are relegated to you. And trust me, the enemy knows where to hit us. He hits us where he knows it will hurt. But no weapon of the enemy will prosper. You will pursue. You will overtake. And you will recover all. I, it, it just fit, fits so perfectly. I want to read um, letters, letters from God today. And I want to read June 20th. It fits with what God is speaking today. The deserts are my opportunities. <laughs> the deserts are my opportunities. When it looks impossible, when the city's burned down, when your children are gone, when all your spoils gone, when everything's been taken from you, there ain't no place to go but up. And that's when God shows up. Isaiah 51 and 3. For the Lord comforts Zion... He comforts all her waste places and makes her wilderness like Eden, her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving and the voice of song. The desert shall be like a garden to you, not a place of heat, stress, or torment. Even deserts are my opportunities. Your doubts will vanish today. Your self-doubt will be a laughing matter. You will see what I can do in your desert. Even your friends will notice the difference. Come to me. Spend time alone with me. Pour out your heart to me. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I already know it anyway. It is not for my benefit but for yours, you see, I can only change what you reveal, not what you conceal. God, we are open books. Wash us, cleanse us. We lay it all before you. I can only heal and change what you reveal, not what you conceal. I am fortifying you like a stone wall. I speak life, wealth, and health to you. Lord, I declare life, wealth, and health over these handmaidens, over these 10,000 mothers of Zion, over these prophetic prayer evangelists, over the 388 women that are praying, I declare health, wealth, health and wealth over you. I break all forms of poverty over you right now. I break all forms of poverty in the name of Jesus over you, over anything in your bloodline, over me and anything in my bloodline in Jesus' name. You will be known as my project, as my object. You will be known as my object of compassion. Your true identity has been hidden beneath a mountain of uncertainties. Now the negatives of life will become stepping stones into your destiny. Day by day, the spiritual, uh, the spiritual you will emerge like a butterfly from its cocoon. And with each struggle you go through, your strength will double and a new door will swing open. And, I'm sorry, at a new color will your wing, I'm sorry, and a new color in your wing will appear. Fight and take flight. Let me say that again. Day by day, the spiritual you will emerge like a butterfly from its cocoon. And with each struggle you go through, your strength will double. And a new color in your wing will appear. I love that. Fight and take flight. And how do we fight, ladies? We fight in prayer. We fight on our knees. We fight by humbling ourselves before the mighty hand of God. We fight in worship. We fight in in surrender we fight in faith we don't fight in the natural we don't fight carnal we don't fight with our flesh we fight in prayer 
Lord, I just thank you. I thank you for everything you're doing in our lives. We trust you. You said pursue. You said overtake. You said we would recover all. And that is the word of the Lord to you today. Pursue, overtake, and recover all. Go read 1 Samuel 30. Read it. Read it in a couple of different translations. That is the word of the Lord. You are on the precipice of recovering everything that the enemy has stolen. And I prophesy that God is going to bring it back to you even seven times more, sevenfold of what you've lost in Jesus' name. I bless you. Thank you, ladies, for all that you did this, this week. Thank you, Pastor Cindy. Thank you, uh, my sister, who I adore so much. Thank you, Pastor Karen, who I love and adore so much, and Pastor Chris, who I love and adore for just holding down the fort. Thank you, ladies, for being faithful to pray. We're calling 10,000 mothers in Zion. I just call forth this broadcast. I ask everyone to share this. I'll see you in the morning. We're going to have a great week this next week. God is doing incredible things. Be blessed. I'll see you tomorrow morning.